Good morning, folks. Confusion abatement right out of the gate. The Arctic set record lows for ice, but the Antarctic set record highs. Some of you have been confusing the two or thought the South was being ignored in favor of global warming. Interesting part about that is those comments came the day after we reported the Antarctic story. This is why we say climate change with both extremes, not global warming. Alaska is draining, recovering, after an amazing amount of water flooded the area. Apostle Dave found this video for us. His eyes are always open. Thank you. The southern mid-Atlantic ridge shook yesterday. Not every day the Brazil border takes a tremor. The four magnitude quakes have returned to the Virgin Islands, and southern Quebec and Ontario taking some unusual tremors as well. Mexico was rocking yesterday for a few hours. The top magnitude registered 5.8 down at the bottom there, and also a 5.9 or 6.0 in Fiji is being called a 5.3 and a typhoon is born the cyclone has developed and it will hit taiwan as a level three or four typhoon rsoe shows it hitting super typhoon status either way it's something to keep an eye on torcon as well this gets updated midday so make sure you go back to it we did have a buoy in event mode this morning, but when we come in to check the data, it appears to be missing rather than indicative of a large deviation or wave. Two gamma ray bursts last night. First one came out of Libra, and the second one came from the constellation Aquila. Definitely an Earth side footprint here. Nine magnetic connections sit on the side of the sun facing Earth with just one remaining backside connection. You can see the yellow solar wind speed dropping as the coronal hole stream number two dies down. Looking at the seven day solar wind data, you can see those two strong streams at the end here might have one more to go actually. NOAA finally got with the program, labeled 11575 Beta Gamma. Good to be accurate even without flare activity. This should probably go ahead and label this as two separate regions as we have two leading negative umbra spreading. The region down south is bipolar as well, but pretty much incapable of large flares right now. Here are the upcoming heliocentric and geocentric positions to watch for. First, in about six days, the Earth will pass directly between the Sun and Uranus. Now, around that same time, the full moon will occur as well. Between here and here is the Uranus-Sun opposition, so the four celestial bodies line up nicely. Last 24 hours of the Sun. This is getting boring, huh? No big eruptions. Plasma filament on the equator turning to the right with a diminishing threat. Big active regions turning over the eastern limb on the left, but all without the guts to step onto the dance floor first. One more potential coronal hole coming, folks, at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe.